Oh wait, oh, is this the music now? Oh dear. Oh. Yeah. This no. is this that scene, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it is. Please tell me you've not chosen to put eyes on me on this song. Uh, of course, I've chosen to put eyes on me here. <laughs> now, all right, let me explain. First of all, I hate eyes on me. I am not one of those what do you call them newfangled gay people like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just I'm want not... that to be made clear. <laughs> there's no homosexuality within me. Maybe there's a little bit, but whatever homosexuality there is does not like music like this. I am too cool for that. This is the worst kind of music. However, with all that put in, I had no choice but to include this song for a simple reason, and that is this is a massively popular part of Final Fantasy VIII, and we need the full experience. Okay. This is quite possibly what you said that you weren't going to do before. <laughs> you say, oh, you're never going to have eyes on me at all, are you? But... I might have said that, but then I realized there would be rabid Final Fantasy VIII fans chewing at my face if I did that. Well, that Possibly saying that it's a horrible song might make people mad, though Though probably not as mad as the fact that I'm equating being gay with liking this song, which is not true. Yeah, yeah you're better. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right then. This is the zero G scene. Ah, yes. Zero G romance. <laughs> uh huh. There we go, the song. Uh, my ears, my ears! <laughs> <laughs> Embrace the horror, Jeppo. We got, a, we got a long time here with us. Oh, dear. <sighs> In space, no one can he hear you scream. In space, everybody can hear <laughs> eyes on me. <laughs> oh, uh, dear. Fantasy ATLP Part 13, where Squall and Renoa float around to bad music. And nothing <laughs> happens. This whole scene right here, they kind of like hold each other for a while. Squall like struggles really hard not to pop a boner, and uh, nothing <laughs> happens. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I, I, you, you know what? He's sitting forward for exactly that reason. You know, it's like, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Think about oh, baseball. Do, yeah. Think about triple triad. <laughs> oh come on, gotta optimize my cards. <laughs> Junction <laughs> will be the best spell. Oh damn it! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I like it. It makes me feel safe and secure. <laughs> Oh dear. I think he's actually talking about, uh... And Nesquil's just spending all of his time talking about his sister. This is totally romantic. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Oh. Ooh, I'm all alone. Oh god, all I'm not gonna look at this. You're talking about your sister. My leg's kind of glitching out towards the end right there. Oh, I forgot oh. how dumb this scene is. <laughs> Well, it would be a fine scene if, like, it wasn't so awkward. <laughs> I mean, you know, all romance is kind of terribly awkward and pathetic, as is the entire human race. But, couldn't they kiss, at least? Mm. <laughs> at least something. <laughs> yeah. At least I mean, in I'm not Final talking Fantasy about penetration or nothing, it's a teen-rated <laughs> game, but, you know, they could kiss. They're well, supposed to be in love. Titus and Yuna kissed. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, is it still going? Yeah, this is a very long oh. scene. Okay. Uh, buckle your seatbelts, ladies. Okay, wake me up when it's finished. Oh, <laughs> uh, we lost one. <laughs> so some color mage, we're all alone. Why don't you just sit a little closer? Yeah, you just shocked into silence again now. Yeah. <laughs> so I woke up then. So anyway, um... <laughs> We've got absolutely nothing to say now, because yeah, we just... Yeah, pretty much. Just... I, kinda, I kinda threw away all the jokes I had planned. Maybe yeah. Could I think of any new ones? Um... No, not really, I got nothing. 
Uh, yeah, okay. I've got absolutely nothing now. Yeah, there's she's Whee! moving away. Finally! Uh, yes. Phew. They'll all be angry at me! They're all gonna laugh at you! <laughs> They're all gonna laugh at you! Oh, alright. So, uh, yeah, I think Renella just admitted that she's a sorceress. For reasons. Yeah, I haven't noticed. <laughs> It's not like when you turn into a sorceress, you grow eight feet tall and get covered in scales or something. Really? What, no, you like... just gain a new limit break, that's all. Ah, right. And I have to so... say, uh, Renella basically won the sorcerer's superpower lottery, because her limit break's actually pretty good. Edia, all she can do is just throw ice. <laughs> as much as I like Edia. Yeah, it's quite a snazzy-looking limit break, but it does... And it does have really good damage. Yeah. She killed Squall that one time. That's pretty impressive. So, uh, no, actually, Angel Wing potentially could be devastating, but you have to set up it exactly the right way. You gotta mm. get rid of every single other offensive magic except for Meteor. And Which boost is... up her magic as much as possible. Now, Which Meteor is... hits five times, so it's like 9999, and you can do like. Tons and tons of damage every single turn. Oh dear, what we're doing now? <laughs> They're hugging. Why is the song still going? Because I think this, I think this is near the end now. Well, but I'm hoping that anyway. Doesn't this song just give you a nice warm feeling inside? Um, Wait, no, that's that's the beer I'm drinking. Sorry, <laughs> you're not sharing in terms that. of warm in terms of rage. <laughs> Maybe. Or just the embarrassment. One of the two. Yeah. Ah, it's all yeah. over. Yay. It was all a dream. But darling, I love you oh, so. No, 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 the no, song no. will never end. And on and on it will go forevermore. <laughs> You've got the lyrics right in front of you, haven't you? Just no idea what the lyrics are. <laughs> <laughs> you freaking! What do you think I am? <laughs> oh, oh this my is a bit God. better. We yeah, got this Venus. is way better. This song's Venus. way more romantic. <laughs> Just chanting. Heinz <laughs> descendant. Ah. Yeah, so I explained that last episode. <laughs> Please look back to episode 12-1 for your interest in the Great High, in which I explain ah. it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll go back and watch it again, because I must have missed that. <laughs> I mean, it just got posted last night, so, you know. Dating the Let's Play, ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, uh, so... Ultimecia, a sorceress from the future, can possess Renoa and use her to go and create time compression. So Esther's going to lock Renoa into a cell, and Squall, despite that moment that they shared or something, is perfectly fine with letting her go. Mm -hmm. He voices no objection. For now. Yeah, you know, this could. You know, and a moment later, he'll regret his decision, you know. Well, it doesn't does have do? to be nice now, the romantic part of the game's over. Yeah. Yeah, the romance is over. Thank goodness. For now that. begins the forty years of slow boredom, then distrust, then resentment, and finally divorce. <laughs> and then Squall has to go and take his kids on the weekend for really, really awkward daddy days. Very, very awkward. Yeah. <sighs> <coughs> Got that out. Um. <laughs> Maybe I'm not a good expert on romance, considering I'm the product of two straight generations of divorces. Mm, maybe. Yep. Now, the only successful marriages in my family end in death. Oh, okay. It's so like that I, uh... for all families. Let's get back on board the Ragnarok and just... Anyway, let's just pretend none of that happened. We've now got the airship. We can fly all over the world. We can do ex what we want. You can fly me to the moon. 
Let me play amongst the stars. I mean, we're on a spaceship. Yeah, we, yeah, we have a spaceship. We don't need Renault. Have... We'll think of how many chicks we can pick up on this thing. <laughs> yeah, we can fit at least five. <laughs> Just forget about Renoa. <laughs> no, 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 we can fit at least six. No, seven. We can fit seven chicks along with us. Yeah, there's one There's already. one now! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> Alright. Okay, all we need now We're is another one. On. Pete, oh, the guy who escaped the fuss. Even Squall doesn't remember who he is. <laughs> Pete? Who's that? Oh, Wim. Yeah. Oh, forget about him. Well, Pete had to find a new career after he was destroyed in the Super Star Destroyer's explosion. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so, uh, so yeah, Quistis or Keistis or whatever you pronounce the name these days, no idea now. Is she to have survived? Yeah. Her name is Keish. We'll call her that from now on. Keish. Keish. Oh. And there's Zell! Oh. Oh, Zell, what are you doing here? Get out! No, no, no Zell's just... awesome! <laughs> and there's Selfie, and, um, uh... And... Uh, he got me! <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> with the heart! <laughs> Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> oh, Irving, Irving, that's him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you two, just go. Just go, just leave. Just leave Squirrel with Kistis and Selfie, yeah. No, keep Zell there. I like Zell. Do you? Yeah, Zell's awesome. Okay. Well, just because well, he's got a just because he's got a good limit rate doesn't make him awesome. Yes, it does. Absolutely makes him awesome. And then whenever he plays it, this funny eighties um, fight music comes on. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure why that happens, but it's all part of his charm. <laughs> it's one of the hidden features of Junction, and you get your own personal soundtrack. Yep. Yeah. He's also like a shonen anime hero that wound up in the wrong story. So he's like, yeah. yeah, our dreams can lead us forward. We got all the power we can need. And Squall's like, I'm the real hero. Whatever. Don't talk to a wall. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah um, God, these cutscenes we've having in Final Fantasy X take so blinking long. Blinking. Blinking, Some yeah. bloody long. Get these bloody cutscenes <laughs> out of my RPG! <laughs> yeah, I talk like that quite a lot. Yeah. Alright. Actually, I'm not even sure what's going on. It's been a really long time since I recorded this footage, so I'm not sure what happens anymore. Yeah, uh, Kist is just called Squall a Fool. Well, he is a he fool. Just, uh, he let his uh, girlfriend whatever, go. Maybe. That was cowardly and pathetic of him. He's reverting back to his disc one in two ways. <laughs> right, so, is he gonna change his ways? He decided. Alright, Pandora, whatever. Pan <laughs> <laughs> Pandora, whatever. <laughs> oh, dear. I like this game, it's actually making fun of its own plot points. <laughs> It's like, we got turned into loose seas? But my name's Saz, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> get, get out of the way, Zell. I love Lucy. <laughs> Trying to get round Zell there. Whoa! Yeah. We're whoa. moving. Whoa, whoa! Excuse me, we're flying? We are, indeed. Yes. As it turns out, the spaceship can work in out in regular atmospheres too. Aye, that's useful. That is incredibly useful. Yeah. So I suppose we best go all the way up to the top of the cockpit and see what maniac's driving this or flying this. I think I have an idea who it might be. Oh God! Oh my God! We're all gonna <laughs> die! <laughs> <laughs> Get that thing out of her hands! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh no! Please, let me get off! Oh, jeez. Oh. Alright, we're going to... Oh, man, what are you thinking? <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta go save, uh, Renoa. I quite like this music, actually. Well, it's the airship music, it has to be awesome. 
Well, yeah, of course. Much better than the music that we thankfully got rid of. And that Fly Me to the Moon instead. Fly can't remember, me to the moon. Can't remember if this ship's got autopilot or not. Or was that in Final Fantasy IX?